This section's awfully stubby. Info from Suspicious Minds, A Gamble with Time, Death in New Venice, and River of Time needs to be added. River was sent to retrieve one of the solar batteries powering a miniscope, and traveled to Inter Minor, where the third doctor was working on disabling one. She miniaturized and went into the miniscope, only to find out that the doctor neglected to look at the bin of the miniscope, inadvertently leaving other species contained in the machine to die when it would go out of order. With the help of Dibsworth, a man trapped into the miniscope with his office, she managed to get out of the miniscope with the battery in the bin, and gave them to the doctor. She also took advantage of this chance and consoled him for the imminent separation between him and Joe Grant. Audio, peep show, on an expedition to find out what happened to Annam Hennick. River arrived to the planet Gelidius, where she was greeted and welcomed by a deserted colony of Mahanoids. Suspecting that they seemed not to know Hennick, she dug under the ice and found an inner chamber, but accidentally caused a glacier to fall over the ship. Now stranded, she sent a distress message, which space security agents Anya Kingdom and Mark Seven picked up a month later. River manipulated them into helping her get to Hennick's tomb, where they found out that he was actually alive, partially converted into a mechanoid and in command of an army of Mahanoids he reprogrammed to get revenge on Earth Empire. River and the agents worked together to stop him, and were eventually able to trap him in the ice, event though River had to give up her plan to retrieve Hennick and give him up to the authorities. Audio, Queen of the Mahanoids.